speed and innovation are at the heart of implementing DevOps processes into your organization. However, teams often have specific security and compliance requirements that can prevent a release from deploying. Failure to meet these requirements could end in failed audits, or worse, a security breach. Just take CIO Neha, for example. Recently, a misconfigured S3 bucket has led to a data breach for her company. Thankfully, no PI data was in that bucket, but she's now under scrutiny and has tasked internal IT leaders in making security and compliance a key initiative this year. This initiative is a daunting one for the VP of Engineering, who is overseeing globally distributed development and security teams. He has been dealing with siloed tool sets and projects, piles of custom security scripts, and no way to track environments, making quarterly audits and reporting a nightmare. By using Cloud B Software Delivery Automation, or SDA, he can now have insight and control over releases while giving him multiple ways to enforce corporate governance, security, and compliance. Let's dive into some of those capabilities. Once logged into the continuous delivery and release orchestration side of SDA, CDRO for short, their release managers can quickly and easily see the status of releases across the entire organization. The tagging feature allows them to filter only the releases they are interested in. The VP of Security is happy because his team can utilize RBAC capabilities to segment roles and responsibilities for all members participating in various stages and pipelines, eliminating unintentional overwrite or security risks. And the new unified installation and navigation means they can manage one set of roles across all the cloud based solutions. After only two months of using SDA, Neha's org has already seen an increase in release frequencies and a reduction in production issues. Her app dev teams credit the self-service release catalog, which keeps them in line with their compliance regulations while allowing them to predictably run common tasks. Their release managers have definitely seen the benefits of these templates. They have been able to standardize environments for each team and their respective release. The teams are using two different cloud providers to host applications in containers and VMs, and they can now see what those configurations look like in one place, instead of tracking them down in the individual cloud portals and resources. Once a template from the catalog is selected, developers work within a connected toolchain using only immutable objects, which allows the pipeline to become a single source of truth and an easy to follow audit trail. They can even track actions from integrated code quality tools, security audits, test automation, ticketing and ITSM tools like Jira and ServiceNow, and chat ops like Slack and Twitter. Within the release templates, admins can add automated and customized approval gates at any point in the pipeline, ensuring that each stage is reviewed by the appropriate channel before proceeding. This can decrease the risk of deploying bad code into production. However, as we know, sometimes buggy code slips through the cracks. SDA's deployment features like smart deploy, drift detection, and automated rollbacks allow for efficient and unattended operation, giving developers more time to focus on innovating and less on maintaining, while giving managers a fully traceable log of every action across the pipeline. The current audit process of software delivery is very lengthy and extremely manual. It becomes a manual hunt, retracing all of the steps taken across disparate teams and tools. Then the teams are asking, do we have all the data? Is the data even correct? SDA gives app dev and release managers built-in reports for most common requests. The evidence audit report collates all evidence that is being collected throughout the release pipeline run. Time duration reports identify delays in a given release with task level breakdowns of time, as well as durations for builds. The approvals audit captures every manual interaction with the release whether they are manual approvals or manual tasks. And of course, you also have the ability to easily create custom reports for specific needs. Whether you are the release manager, VP of engineering, or the CIO, you can use SDA CDRO to increase visibility into repeatable and predictable releases. So you can spend more time innovating and less time digging through logs and siloed projects.